This is a vintage Neumann U67. It currently goes for about 16,000 US dollars. And this is the modern recreation of it, the TLM 67 that Neumann makes that goes for a fraction of that price. Now I've had this TLM 67 here in my studio for quite a few months. It has very quickly become one of my favorite microphones that I have here in my room. However, the U67 has always been one of my very favorite microphones, especially for vocals. And so today, selfishly, I'm going to compare these two microphones and bring you guys along on the journey. We're going to see how close the new TLM67 is to an actual vintage U67. And you've actually been listening to one of them this whole time so far. Which one? Which one do you think you're listening to? Drop me a comment right now. Let me know which one you think the entire intro of this video was done on. And right now, we're going to switch microphones to the other one. So there's the sonic differences between them on dialogue. It's been a minute since I don't put it in. Why would you put that over the vintage one? <laughs> it's been a minute since I've shared an espresso with you all. Pinky's out, y'all. Thanks for joining me for another video. So let's go over a little bit of history first. The U67, the original, came out in 1960. It was intended to be the successor of the U47, both of which are some of the most famous microphones in the world, and both of which are some of the most copied microphones in the world. So the vintage U67 is a tube microphone that has an EF86 tube in it. Uh, it also has a power supply, as all tube microphones do. The capsule in it is the K67 capsule. Now, this is exactly the same capsule that's in the TLM67. Obviously, they were manufactured many decades apart from each other, but it's the same capsule, exact same design. Now, both the U67 and the TLM67 are multi-pattern microphones. They have a cardioid, a figure eight, and an omni pattern. They both have switches for high-pass filters, and they both have pads built right into the microphone. And while they share the same capsule, the TLM67 is not a tube microphone. So the TLM67 is a transformerless design, and the circuitry that they've created for this microphone is driven by phantom power. Uh, it's intended to mimic, emulate an EF86 tube like the vintage U67 has in it. So there will be links in the description below if you want to go check out this TLM67, uh, see the price, the specs, all the rest of the stuff about it. Uh, and if you decide to pick one up from one of those links in the description or anything else that you see on Sweetwater's website, it goes a long ways to help support the channel and really helps me continue making videos like this and like mixed tutorials like I do. So anytime you guys ever need any piece of musical gear, it would mean the world to me. Just pop on one of my videos, click any one of the links in the description, buy anything that it is you need, helps support the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I think that's about enough of me yapping. Let's hear some vocals. Yeah, some might say it's a waste of a day Cause I ain't getting paid to go out and play But when I get home, I feel a whole lot richer I spend my time on things money can't buy Got a real good love and a damn good life Do a little less take and a lot more giving Yeah, that's how, oh, that's how I make a living Yeah, some might say it's a waste of a day Cause I ain't getting paid to go out and play But when I get home, I feel a whole lot richer I spend my time on things money can't buy Got a real good love and a damn good life Do a little less take and a lot more giving Yeah, that's how Oh, that's how I make a living. Haley Verhalen, thank you, Haley, so much for coming in and letting me use your vocals. Uh, I actually produced that song for her. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description below so that way you can go check out her socials, go listen to the song. Uh, and there's also a playlist down there with a bunch of music that I've worked on. So if you wanna hear stuff that I've actually produced or mixed or mastered, 
hit the link in the description to go listen to some of that. But please go check out Haley. Uh, it's an incredible song. The production's incredible. I'm very, very pumped on it. And uh, as thanks to her for being involved in this video with me. One thing I forgot to mention is I will put links in the description below to download all the things that you hear in this video. Acoustic guitar, the vocals, a bit of my dialogue. Uh, and I think that you should download these and play around with the EQ on them to, to check out how well these microphones take EQ. It's a big thing that that's really important with microphones. Okay, so I've just had to listen to the vocals and to this dialogue, and man, does it really do the thing. Now, with these vintage units, one thing to keep in mind is that every single one of these sounds different, as does all vintage gear. Every vintage microphone, every vintage compressor, they all, each one of them has a little bit different character, and it, it's down to uh, how they were maintained, how they were stored, how much they were used, uh, what temperature were they stored at, how old actually is it, uh, what components in the microphone or in the power supply have been replaced, is it a different tube even? And so all of these vintage units sound a little bit different, and I've used 67s, vintage 67s, that are darker and warmer than this, and I've used some that are brighter and uh, less thick than this. This particular vintage U67 has just a little bit more sizzle uh, then a little bit more air, a little bit more sizzle than the TLM, and the TLM is a little bit warmer and a little bit more mid-forward. Now, I've certainly used vintage models that sounded exactly like this TLM 67. I've used vintage models that were thicker, more mid-forward, darker, brighter. They're kind of all over the place. I'm incredibly impressed at how close these are and that it, it really does do the 67 thing for a fraction of the cost. And as I work my way through this comparison and listen to examples back, it is making a lot of sense why this has become one of my favorites because the vintage one has always been one of my favorites. Okay, let's try this on acoustic guitar. All right, well, I think that confirms it for me that the TLM67 is Neumann's most underrated microphone. This is a microphone that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. I think a lot of people are sleeping on the TLM67 because to my ears and for my use cases, uh, it m is now one of my very favorite current production Neumanns, and I don't say that lightly. I think it absolutely nails the 67 thing, the vintage U67 thing, with the exception of the variances between the vintage models. But the thing, the vibe, the character is spot on. If you wanted to make these two sound identical, I think all you'd have to do is probably put a little bit of a high shelf uh, on the TLM 67 and maybe pull out like some 1.5K, like a DB, just like one DB of 1.5K, something like that. This is what I'm guessing. I think that it would be incredibly easy to make these sound identical because the vibe is very much identical. And again, all the vintage ones sound different anyway. So this was a good shootout. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for coming along with me. I did this for myself and I just figured you guys would want to see it too. But uh, this was very enlightening and I am going to continue using this microphone 
for a very long time. Thanks again to Blackbird Audio Rentals for hooking me up with the Vintage U67. I'll put their link down below too. If you're in Nashville, you want to rent some vintage gear, it's a great resource. Pretty affordable to, to just go get a piece of vintage gear. Uh, thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. I really want to know your thoughts. If you're all the way here to the end, drop me a comment. Let me know that you made it to the end. And also let me know your thoughts between these two microphones. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 o